This world might resemble my own in a million ways in one, but without you to complete it, it'll never be home. Hmm, Takeru is crying. Uh... What? No way. Oh, oh, this? Eh, this is nothing. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. That's not it. It's just sort of reminded me of someone. An old friend. I don't know. Well, when I was little, I lived right around here. Back when there was still a town here, I mean. And Sumika lived right next door to me. Sumika? Uh, yeah, that's right. Her name was Kagami Sumika. So. Kagami is a why do you ask? Hmm. <laughs> could look into it, huh? Mm. You did? I see. Yeah, I guess. Thanks, Maya, but that's okay. I appreciate the offer, but it's okay, really. Mm. Thanks, but no matter how hard you search, it's not gonna do any good. Because she's nowhere to be found, not in this world, anyway. Mm. Uh, don't let me bring you guys down. It's not like I just found out or anything. I've come to terms with it. Hmm. Uh. So, Kagami Sumika is supposed to be dead in this world, huh? No, seriously, it's fine. She was just a total dog lover, so your story kind of reminded me of her, that's all. <laughs> I mean, we all get a little sentimental sometimes, don't we? Ah, come on, guys. Mikoto, you got any more stories to tell? 
Oh yeah, didn't you see some weird educational program while you were in there? Oh, you know, the one hit TV show with the weird puppet thing. Uh, I can't remember the d dumb thing's name. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Actually, I've been told I look kind of like him before. <laughs> I don't think your eyesight's that good, actually. It was Chizuru who said that in the last world. Oh, I know, right? I was so surprised. Not like I even know anything about it. Hmm? <laughs> sh shut the hell up. I just wanted I wanted to get everybody back to normal again, okay? <laughs> you just wanted to cheer everybody up. あ、はい。確認すべきは次のこと。<laughs> Lie down. <laughs> if Takeru lies down, he's gonna get kissed by Mikoto. Or switch with Tama. I don't know. Let's try. Uh, try like, uh, I don't know. Maybe switch with Tama. No. Uh, lie down. What? Well, all right. <laughs> no, 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 no. It hasn't. Yep, yep, down I go. <laughs> Ready? You know it. Oh no. Oh, this soft sensation on my mouth. Are those Miko? Uh oh. <laughs> what was that? She's pinching my nose shut. Nah. What the? My lips separate. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> this is this is really awkward. <laughs> this is totally not what I was expecting here. Uh, no, it wasn't. Oxygen's rushing into my lungs, but I'm not breathing in at all. This feels weird as hell. I'm lying face up with my nose pinched shut and my mouth open wide and the air's being forced deep into my lungs. After we were commissioned, we had to practice this every once in a while, but we usually did it with practice dummies. I've never been on the receiving end. But, but anyway, it didn't turn out to be nearly as sensual an, an experience as I thought it would be, unfortunately. Wait, why is that unfortunate? Actually, you know what? Let's just not pursue this train of thought any further. Wow, that was awkward. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? I got it. <laughs> Don't come any closer. Why do I have to relive this part too? I never asked for this. I mean, I know way more about Mikoto than I did last time, so uh, it's kind of hard to just play it cool. Hmm, how to stop bleeding, huh? <laughs> Shut up! Ow! 
市販の本でこういう書籍について読んだことあるのかな、uh, Not any books, no. But、uh, I did learn a little from my friend who was a pro at this sort of thing, <laughs> which was the previous. <laughs> previous、uh, Mikoto. Ah, so now that. Ja, I don't know. She gets the way you made a big cado cut the Hanashita and the kiddo. You can't loosen it if you let the blood start flowing again. You may as well have never put it on in the first place, which is exactly why you have to get them to a doctor within two hours, or else. Necrosis will start to set in, right? Whoa, don't get so clinky, dude. <laughs> Has she always been like this? You're gonna give my teenage brain some not so wholesome ideas, you realize that? Alright, already. Now get off and <laughs> now, now get off of me. Do you seriously need to ask?、Uh... What's that look for? Uh, that's not an issue here. <laughs> Why are you asking me? You've got to keep their mental state in mind as well, right? So, so not only that you are. Who are you talking about? Hm? So, you are going to be a little bit of a problem. You are going to be a little bit of a problem. You are going to be a little bit of a problem. You are going to be a little bit of a problem. You are going to be a little bit of a problem. You are going to be a little bit of a problem. No, that's not what I meant. I mean, I meant, why are you lying down? <laughs>、oh, uh, what are you telling me to do? That's not what I meant. That's not what I mean. No, it's not that. It's just. No, it's not that either. No way, dude. <laughs> says, says you. <laughs> I'm not avoiding you at all. <laughs> What are you talking about? Uh, that isn't really the problem. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. Man, why you gotta say it like that? Though I guess I'm probably more to blame for letting you steer the conversation. Looks like I really didn't have anything to worry about after all. All it took to soften me up was <laughs> this kid coming back. Oh, yeah, Mikoto Jan 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 Jan. Hello, I'm Shirogane Takeru. It's been a long time, Mrs. Kyozuka. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Another person Takeru is seeing for the second time. <laughs> What? Where'd you hear that from? <laughs> no way, dude. Let's see, if anyone was gonna tell you, it'd probably be Marimo chan, right? Kimono Suatta Gaki dane. Kyokan o chan zuke de yobukai. 
Oh crap, my bad. Thanks, I appreciate it. Whew, that was a close one. Mrs. Kyozaka hasn't changed a bit, so I just slipped right back into old habits. Well, duh, of course she'd be the same. <laughs> well, not sure I'd go that far. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you guys suck. Hey, you eat in, right? Get in enough food? Hey, you come to me for your food. If I remember right, those were the first things Mrs. Kyozuka said to me. Then she basically forced me to eat, like twice as much as everyone else. Huh, but I guess no reason for her to do that this time, is there? Not that I'd want to be babied again after all this time, of course. But somehow, it does kind of feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> Lunch lady. Gotcha. Oh, why not? Not that I don't already know, of course. <laughs> Aren't you a little old for that? <laughs> Not this conversation again. <laughs> you mean taller, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're one to talk. Wait a minute, what did I do wrong? <laughs> Nobody is on Takeru's side. Jeez, now I'm on your level, Maya. Uh, now I'm on your level, Maya? That's kind of depressing. Munch, munch, munch. Hmm? Oh yeah, you weren't at roll cat. Roll call. <laughs> roll cat. You weren't at roll call either, were you? i gotten so used to her not being around, I didn't even notice. Why were you hospitalized anyway? Come again? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I don't even want to know. Or, alright, then spill it. Oh no, let's try. Alright, then spill it. Alright, then spill it. <laughs> really? I figured it would. It would be pretty obvious. Hmm. <laughs> What's rappling? All that build up and that's all you got for me? I might be pushy, but you're pushing your luck. How far did you fall? 
Damn, how tall was the climbing wall? Oh, climbing walls. Huh, I didn't even know we had a rappling wall on, on base. Oh, huh. <laughs> Not even worth the obvious retort. So, how badly did you get hurt, anyway? That's not up to you to decide. みんな。ちょっと聞いて。うん。とうとう yeah, I was born ready。全然問題ないよ。うん。うん。I know, I'm prepared for that. Yep, I know that too. Yep, they do it on some random tropical island, which means we'll be mostly in the jungle. They do it twice a year in the summer and winter. We're coming up on the winter one now. <laughs> ah, Suzumiya is Chizuru's rival. Suzumiya. Hmm? Suzumiya Akane, right? Oh, well, I just remember hearing the name somewhere before, that's all. And now there's now there's a name I haven't heard in forever. I forgot she was here too. とにかく私たちは失敗するわけにいかないの。それ肝に銘じておいて。大丈夫だよ。今回はタケルがいるじゃない。そうだな。油断は禁物だが、不安材料が確実に減っているのもまた確かだ。and why the long face class rep? I think this was when I stupidly asked her why they failed the exam last time. This led to a huge argument and I got lectured about how important orders are to the people of this world. Well, the soldiers at least. Man, I was such a rookie back then. Orders are absolute here. If you don't follow the basic principle, you can't get anything done. It's like we're out there all on our own. If you want to keep a large group of people under control, you need to have some kind of organization. And that means they're gonna be, there's going to be a chain of command. There's no way to get an entire organization working to, toward a single goal if everyone's second-guessing their orders or making their own decisions. That's why there's no room for disobedience or differences of opinion. You just gotta deal with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, there, there were plenty of times when I wanted to give our superiors a piece of my mind. But if you don't want to see changes get made, but if you want to see changes get made, it's better to just work hard and climb the ladder until you're able to make them yourself. Questioning orders is a pretty grave offense in the military. At least in this world, it is. That said, after getting commissioned, I learned things are actually pretty different on the front lines. Authorities disturbed among 
a whole bunch of commanders. Oh, authorities distributed among a whole bunch of commanders leading smaller squads in more of an inverted pyramid structure. Humans be human beings are never going to be as coordinated and disciplined as the beta, so we wouldn't stand much of a chance otherwise. Either way, it doesn't change the fact that orders need to be adhered to. Regardless of an army's organization, the most important factor will always be ensuring that orders are carried out exactly as given. That's why, as cadets, we have to get used to following seemingly absurd or unfair orders without complaint. Hmm? Nothing. Sorry. Huh? <laughs> Seriously, dude? No, that's... <laughs> that, no, that's not actually. I mean, of course, I'm curious, but I didn't think class rep would bring this up on her own. Now that argument's gonna start up all over again. Uh, this team didn't have good chemistry, huh? Damn it, seriously? We're having this conversation again? I think the only way to stop this bickering is for me to really go off on them. Hey guys. I really don't get why you felt the need to bring this up, but can I just say something? Nani? I'm gonna be really blunt here, okay? <laughs> you guys are all just playing the victim right now. <sighs> when you're trying to get a group of people to do something, you have to have some level of organization. <sighs> and that means there needs to be an absolute chain of command. And yeah, we're all just cadets, and it's a pretty small chain of command, so I understand how stuff like this happens. But out on the real battlefield, things are way different. No matter the circumstances, the leader's in control. Insubordination can't be tolerated. If you don't like it, then get promoted and take their place, with everyone's approval. That's just what it means to be part of an organization. That being said, the leader should never forget that their subordinates' lives are in their hands. Orders may be absolute, but that doesn't mean you can do anything you want. Well, yeah, I am. But that's kind of the point. You understand what I'm saying, but you don't want to admit it makes sense, huh? Is it because of the way I worded it? Alright, let's say you gave an order to everyone on base. How many do you think would follow that order? If the CO for our whole base told everyone to jump off a bridge and you told them not to, how many do you think would obey you? Obviously, I don't think every single one of them would jump. But if you can't see what I'm getting at here, then you really are clueless. There's no right or wrong when it comes to an order. So stay with me here for a sec. Do you really think that the kind of person who would give a crazy order like that would make it to the top? Mm. Anyone with the authority to give orders is responsible and skilled enough to give reasonable ones. That's a safe assumption to make, right? Hmm? I'm not denying that some people like that exist. And I get that the people who give the orders won't always see eye to eye with the people who carry them out. Even if you have the same end goal, you might have different ideas on how to achieve it. 
I definitely get that. But for the ones who have to give the orders, the final objective always comes first, and the lives of their subordinates come second. It's just the way things are. <laughs> Eliminate the beta and come back alive. Easier said than done, right? And when things start going to hell, what do you expect them to do? Annihilating the beta is our ultimate goal if we want to survive as a species. And it's the people in command who have to decide what gets prioritized in order to achieve that goal. You're right. You could always get an incompetent commander whose orders cause plenty of needless casualties. But on the other hand... What if you were given the best possible orders, and because you chose to ignore them, your whole unit got overrun by the beta? That's just as possible, wouldn't you say? And by the way, whether or not a death is in vain is totally subjective. Now I'm sure there are plenty of people who'd find the example I just gave a pretty pointless death too. No surprise that class rep agrees. I'm pretty hazy on most things, but there's one thing that still haunts me. One brutally vivid memory. A memory of the day mankind abandoned the earth and left all those people behind. I've never stood on a battlefield, but I have experienced something that makes all of this very personal. I never want to feel that again, feel like that again. I won't let it happen. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I don't know if I got my point across, but all I really wanted to do was stop them from arguing amongst themselves. So, mission accomplished, I guess? Besides, I can't expect them to relate to how I feel when they haven't had to live through it like I have. Probably felt like I was talking down to you guys, didn't it? Sorry about that. However, いつ行かなる時にも正しいとは限らないことを心に留めておいてほしい。Well, that was just a hypothetical。人間の行いに絶対はない。これについては絶対と断言できよう。いや、I I see. Mailing Wow, Maya, you're dead on. Though I probably should have known. Last time, everyone ganged up, ganged up on me about being ready to die. But I guess this, that was just them trying to whip my weak little punk ass into shape. It's pretty obvious after seeing them rebuke my crazy overgeneralized argument. That they don't actually feel that way. These guys know how to balance their duties with their personal op opinions. I know this will sound weird after what I just said, but... For now, I think we probably get... We can probably get by... By just relying on our relationships with one another. And a sense of camaraderie. Mm. In other words, we should... We should be just fine for the time being. That said... Yeah. Huh? But... Let's continue! What were they talking about again? Um, hmm. Hey, can I ask you something real quick, though? Huh? Why'd you even bring up the whole fa failing the evaluation thing to begin with? 
それをどう評価するかあなた Wait, seriously? Crap. I guess I played right into your little scheme, huh? どうかしらね Well, it at least means that you were one step ahead of me, right? <laughs> だといいけどね、hmm. それじゃあ。あ、うん。じゃあ僕たちも行こうか。そうだな。Yeah. They were having a serious conversation about leadership and why they failed the exam last time when Takeru was not with them yet. And I had a feeling you might, so here I am. Sensei's been busy lately, so I've been trying to stay out for all of her hair. Yes, when I get the chance. You mean about Kasumi? Everything I remember is happening the same way, so I can't say for sure if there's been any major changes. Well, yeah, I mean, doesn't it just prove that tweaking minor details isn't doing anything at all? So, what should I do then? So, I am gonna have to do something big after all. Like, I don't know, hopping in a TSF right now or something. Well, it's just something I never did last time. Huh? Oh. That was the time when Tama shot down the falling spaceship. Yeah, that was definitely one. What do you mean by that? I see what you're getting at. Yeah, that'll definitely count as a significant change. But will that even be safe? So you yari katamo ari dat te hanasi. Gutai te kini nani ga gain de do you jiken ga hasse stanu ka wakarana in dekara. Do tai shu sbeki ka handan deki nai wa. Let's see, the next major incident would probably be the attack from the Sadogashima Hive. God, I feel like a real tool thinking back on that one. Well, in that case. Stop! Huh? Well, uh. Last time, I'm pretty sure it happened about a week from now, so I guess we could wait on it a little longer. Is there some reason I shouldn't tell you now? I mean, I guess I could see that being the case, but. <clears throat> Thought so. Yeah, I understand. And the second reason? Huh? Oh, right. Man, Yuko sensei is really, it really is the same no matter what world she's in. To be honest, it's a little astounding. A sensei is working herself to the bone on alternative four, so I can understand why she doesn't want to waste even one minute of her time. Fair enough, guess I'll let you know a few days before it happens then. The next big incident is gonna, ha gonna be when the beta from Sadogashima surface onto the mainland and make a beeline for our base. That's also the time I ended up fainting. What day was that again? I feel like it was on, it was on one of our days off. Yeah, it definitely was. Which means if I look up the next day we have off, I'll know exactly when it's gonna happen. Unless there's a chance it won't happen on the same day. That's definitely a possibility. But is there even anything I can do about it? 
Well, this base is equipped to defend against the beta, so they should be watching it 24-7. I guess I could just tell them to be on high alert. Yeah, let's go with that. Then I'll talk to Sensei about what we might be able to change. I'm not giving up on this place yet. So don't even think about whisking me off to another universe. Let's do this. Takeru thinks <laughs> he himself is capable of moving himself to the other world, huh? Beta from Sadogashima are going to invade the mainland. It's the major incident I was talking about the other day. Yes, it's going to happen on November 11th. There was an emergency summons at noon and we all gathered in the briefing room. Well, I guess it could happen on a different day, but that's when it happened last time. Yeah, it was on our day off and the 11th day. 11th is a day off for us in the world, in this world too. To be honest, there's a lot I don't remember. The IJA engaged the beta after they surfaced, but some of the enemy broke through the defense line and fell off our radar. The scattered beta regrouped and broke through the secondary defense line. Then they moved south along the northern Kanto final defense line, and I'm pretty sure they changed course at the border between Nagano, Gunma, and Niigata. The IJA fought hard to keep them from breaking the final defense line, but I think the odds were against them. Before coming down here today, I pieced all the events back together as best as I could. Hopefully I've got it all straight. Reinforcements were being sent from every nearby Imperial base, but it seemed unlikely they'd make it in time. For what's what it's worth, the UN also deployed support units from Matsugi base, but they'd hardly even reached Maebashi and Gunma at this point. Once the Peta broke through the Imperial units, they came close to crossing the final defense line. At this point, it became clear that they were headed right for us, here at the Yokohama base. The Imperial forces ultimately managed to take out the Beta before they could ever make it here. What? Yes. Well, last time I was here, you said we should try to manipulate big events like this. The best option would be to wait on the shoreline and annihilate them as they surface. Yes, they move along the ocean floor, after all. I know it was somewhere in Niigata, but that's all that's about all I can say for sure, unfortunately. What's there what's there left to think about, Sensei? We've gotta get moving, don't we? Sure, what is it? Huh? Hmm. What are you saying? Weren't you the one who said we should try to manipulate major events like this in the first place? But like, if all I've said so far isn't enough to convince you, then what else can I even do? Hmm, I wonder what that is. And that is? Hmm? Huh? Well, 
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna put all those lives at risk just to prove my credibility? So you. How many people do you think are gonna die from this? <laughs> Would you stop screwing around already? <laughs> A billion is the exact population of Earth at this point in this world. Mm. But I knew alternative 5 was. すでに発動中の計画だもの。何らかの方法で知った可能性は否定できないわ。わかる今のあなたは多世界解釈もその世界観の移動も関係ない妄想と調査と話術だけでどうにでもなることしか話していないの。I did, but... But once they die... Mm. You can't compare humans to rats. Wow. <laughs> For her, rats and humans are the same. You can't be serious. I know what she's saying is right. I don't like it, but it is. But she's going to let hundreds of surface pilots die just to make sure I'm telling the truth. Civilians might be killed too, you know? No, I don't. No, no, that's not it. I know that. I already know that, okay? This is the only way she'll ever believe me. And if I can't earn her trust, Alternative 4 is toast. God damn it! Uh, let it go this time or I can't... Oh, wow, this is a big decision. Let it go this time. I can't accept that. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. What if I try to go with... Let it go this time. I can't accept that. How about I can't accept that? What if I choose this one? I can't accept that. No. I just can't accept that. It's not my place to decide which lives are worth sacrificing. Call me naive if you want. I don't care. I absolutely understand your logic, but... Demo. It's unacceptable. I wouldn't feel right letting it happen. Yes, please. I'm begging you. Oh. Huh? Well, of course it does. What? But I, you just, that's not what you were saying a second ago. What? Well, no, I mean, yes, I do want, want you to, but... あなた、頭がいいのか悪いのかわからないわね。Huh? What? But you just said... 
調査も予測も不可能などうにもならない要素があったでしょ Wait, there is? ベータは人間の都合で動いているわけじゃないでしょ彼らの行動は予測不能よ。Oh, so then if the beta actually do try to invade the mainland from Sadogashima, then you'll know I'm telling the truth. そういうこと。普通なら確定要素が足りないと言いたいところだけど、あなたのミステリーはそれだけじゃないから、まあ合格ってところかしらね。S- Sensei, you tried to trick me. That was so not fair. Ah,、uh, she was gonna do it anyways, huh? あなたねもう少し想像力を働かせなきゃダメよ。はあなたの話を信じるとして、私は何をどう指示したらいいわけもし何かのきっかけで時期や場所がずれたらどうするのよ ?We'd be in deep shit with the UN and Imperial Forces, among other things. そのせいで、オルタネイティブ4が取り潰される可能性もゼロじゃないのよ。Right, there's a lot more writing on this than I realized, isn't there? Nani o Stara Inoka, Donna Ekyo Garnoka Wakaranai. Sonna Bakuzen to Stajota Yoriwa Ide so. You're right. Thinking about it that way makes me feel much more confident. Sate Etchu to Kaizu Niigata Chiki no Teko Guniwa, Tokazuke de Boe Kijun Taise Ni Atari de Mo Dasteo Koka Shirane. Hm. Maybe we should send a support unit from Yokohama base too. Dame yo. Kokuren gun wa Nippon safe no yo sega nakereba ugoke nai wa. Hm. Gun tai te no ane. Koshi ga omoi kedo ugoki da stara tomara nai da kara. Oh. Kakugo kimete yari nasai. Understood. Man. I have two whole years of experience, but I still can't even come close to being on the same level as her. Talk about lame. いずれにしろこの事件は、白金にとって、意義深いものになるでしょうね。I know. Hmm. A. <笑> Up. Ah, you're supposed to yank it off with reckless abandon. This feels more like reverse tucking me in. Damn it, now I'm way too antsy to fall back asleep. Still, though, the banquet pull is a pretty high level technique for a beginner to attempt. I'm impressed. Hey, you're leveled up. Good work. Morning. Bye bye. <laughs> Morning and bye bye. Oh, today's the 11th. Hey. Hey, so、uh, there might be an alarm today. But don't worry too much about it, alright? Okay? Hi.、はい、cool. See ya. <clears throat> Ara, oh, hi, yo. Morning. Where is everyone? Sa, Mitsurgi wa ima, shokuji tori ni itteru kedo? Ah, so she is. <laughs> She's getting her meal. You think they're all still asleep? Kyujis no koto made wa. Oh, today is a rest day. Well, what are you gonna do today? So, ne. Kyoa, doksho de mushuka to moti takedo. Just curious. Oh, hi, oh, takeru. Morning, Maya. Dosta, tore mo motazuni. So, shoka tabenai no ka? Oh, whoops. Yep, I'll go grab some real quick. If I'm right and it really does happen today, then they'll call the emergency summons at just past 8 30. That's really early. As terrible as, as it is to say this, I'm actually hoping for this disaster to take place. It needs to happen, unfortunately, for the good of all mankind. Yuko sensei's really been testing my moral compass, late, compass lately, but at the end of the day, I think she's definitely right about this one. If I'm going to save the entire human race, I've got to learn to stop getting so emotional. I think it just hurts because I can't be as pragmatic about it as Yuko sensei is. I've been witness to the end of mankind as we know it. And I can't bear to live through that again. I'd do literally anything to prevent it. At least that's what I'd like to think. But maybe my conviction wasn't as rock solid as I thought it was. 
Uh, okay, I'm back. So, you ever, Sonata, a kill, you're in your taka? No, why? Ma, at the knocker about Sonochi Yademo. Hm? Ara, you're in it. Nani Kurukuru Stir no Kashira. Uasao Sreba. Sasuk Shojun Saratana. Me? <laughs> What's this about? What she got in her hand? <laughs> Man, that's gotta hurt. That face plant was like worthy of an award or something. Uh, she was making something with strings, huh? I don't know what's that, what's that called. What's wrong? Mikoto? Dude, come on. <laughs> uh, you're what? <laughs> Cat's cradle is what you call it, huh? Uh, she knew, huh? And now it's all starting to come back to me. Come back to me. I'm pretty sure I slept in this day since it was a day off. And then I ran into Yuko sensei and Kasumi up here. Class rep and the others were long gone by then. So I guess this was what they were doing. Oh. Would I have been able to actually see this so called dancing butterfly if it hadn't been for the emergency summons? Wait a second, are you seriously crying about this? <laughs> if, there, if there is a god, I seriously hope he isn't wasting his time on trivial crap like this. You probably could have done it again if you'd had your eyes open the first time. Nah, pretty sure it is. One of them was probably being sarcastic, if I had to guess. <laughs> that must be Ayamine. Hmm? Oh, right. 8.30. If I'd slept in like last time, everyone would have probably left the PX by now. I'm changing little things like this every single day. But that being said, is the alarm still not gonna go off? Is it still gonna go off or not? What are you gonna do today, Maya? What's that look for? Mm. <laughs> Damn, training on her day off? What a trooper. Huh? Oh, oh, no, not really. I was just thinking, like, boy, time sure flies on our days off, you know? Oh, please, giving your muscles some time to recuperate is totally valid part of any training regimen. Huh? Oh, right, sure, let's do that. I guess it doesn't matter what I do right now. I mean, the alarm hasn't go off, gone off yet, so... 